With Boruto finally arriving at new content, I decided it was time to do a Boruto discussion and get back into talking about Naruto. So today we are going to be talking about something pretty depressing. Five characters from the original Naruto manga that are likely to die in the Boruto theory. Coming in at number five is Gara of the Desert. Now, the reason I think Gara is going to die is two reasons. One, he's already died before, and two, he is the current Kaze Kage, and I feel like in Naruto, the whole Kage is dead. I believe it is very likely the first Kage to go after Kawaki, who is presumably the one who killed Naruto, would be Gara. I think he will go after Kawaki and try to stop him and will die in the process. I just feel that in Nar that Gar is a Jinchuriki and I feel and a Kage and I feel like he's going to die either fighting Kawaki to avenge Naruto or protecting the hidden stand or Suna from Kawaki. Now let's move on to number four. Number four is Senju Zunade. Now you may be wondering, why should Zunade die? Now, my argument here is that I feel that Zunade had no real place in the story anymore. What I'm saying is that because Sakura has surpassed Zunade as a medic, so I'm looking at it like, what, what is the need for Zunade? Sakura is stronger than her. So there's no real point. He's not the Hokage anymore. Jiraiya is dead. Naruto became Hokage. Any type of character arc or story you can tell with Tsunade is done. Like you, there's nothing left to do with her. And I just feel like it'd be much better to kill her off and have her go out in an epic fight like Jiraiya. Maybe we'll find out there's some slug variation of stage mode that like her and stuff. And maybe Sakura knows it as well, I don't know. But maybe there's some slug variant in a stage mode, and she'll use it, and she'll like, have some epic battle with Kawaki and die, and die fighting him. All I'm saying is that, I feel like her ca There's no more story to tell with Tsunade, so I believe we should just leave well enough alone, and just kill Tsunade. That is my opinion. Now let me talk about number three. Number three is gonna make a lot of you hate me. The last couple ones may not have been so bad, but number three is Rock Lee. Rock Lee. Now, why is Rock Lee gonna die? Simple. The eight gates. I do believe that at some point in this series, in Boruto, Lee is going to end up opening the eight gate. Maybe not against Kawaki, maybe against a different opponent. I don't know, but I do believe Lee will open the eight gates. And I don't think he'll be staged like a guy, because I think they'll notice that fans were pretty angry when Guy lived. Like, they were like, GG, Guy now crippled for life. Like, why? This is, that isn't cool. Like, I don't know, that's just my opinion. Now let's move on to number two. Number two, Uchiha Sasuke. Now, my reasoning for this is pretty simple. I believe if you're going to kill off Naruto, you're probably gonna kill off Sasuke. I've always felt when it comes to the death of Naruto and Sasuke, unless it was one of them killing the other in, a, in their final fight in the Valley of the End at the end of Naruto, I feel that unless it was that, unless it was one of them killing the other, it would be they both die. I think as long as Sasuke and Naruto are friends, Sasuke is going to do everything in his power to avenge Naruto's death, but if Naruto couldn't beat the Kawaki guy, why would Sasuke be able to? And don't start a Naruto versus Sasuke war in the comments. Even if Sasuke is stronger than Naruto, we all know he can't be that much stronger. They're very close to each other. So it doesn't really matter. If this guy beat Naruto, he can probably beat Sasuke. So Sasuke is probably going to die and let's be honest, the reason they killed Naruto was because he's a powerhouse. And they were afraid of him. Like, he would ruin the story. 
And I feel like if they want to remove the two big powerhouse dicks of Naruto and Sake, they're going to need to kill off Sake. He'll probably survive for a longer for a lo longer than Naruto and stick around to teach Boruto and have like a Jiraiya style death, like go out protecting Boruto. Or, or maybe even better, go out protecting Jiraiya. But speaking of protecting Jiraiya, this leads me to a character that had been doomed from the moment Naruto gave his speech to Jiraiya about the connection between her and her mother in Naruto Gaiden. That's right, for number one, I am talking about Sakura Uchiha ni Haruno. Now, Sakura is going to die. I am 100% positive, because out of everybody in Sarada's life, I think she's the closest to Sakura. I think Sakura is the closest old character to her. Now, you may say she may be close she may she may be just as close to Chocho or Boruto, because she clearly has romantic feelings for Boruto. My response to that is quite simply, you are correct. You're one hundred percent right. That is how Sarada feels. But I don't think they would want to kill off a new generation character. These are new characters for us to have fun with. And I don't think they want to kill off these characters. Now, my opinion, my opinion on these characters is that they're going to all live, like, for a while. Like, they're not going to kill off Chocho for no reason. And you may be wondering what I'm talking about with all the killing. Well, as you know, the only way to unlock Mangekyo Sharingan is through a great loss. Like, you, you know, when you have to be the loss of your best friend or something like that. In my opinion, it, or a very traumatic event. I don't think that they're, uh, they're even going to kill off one of the new generation. So what I think is going to happen is that Sakura is going to die for Kawaki. No, okay, I'll use Kawaki as an, as an example. It may be another villain. But the main villain of the arc in that case, Kawaki, is going to, at some point, attack Sarada. Sarada is going to be engaged in battle and she's going to be at the point where she's going to die. Sakura would show up, have a really good, have a fight with Kawaki. It will probably be a really good fight, I hope. But she would fight Kawaki and lose. And then when she died, Dorado would see it happen, and that would trigger the Mangekyo. Seeing Sakura die to protect her would trigger Dorado's Mangekyo. I feel like that's the best way to help Dorado achieve Mangekyo without killing off one of the new generations. That's just my opinion, and the reason I don't think they would kill Sake to have her unlock Mangekyo is I just don't think she's close enough to Sake. Like, her, her, like, her connection to Sake is mostly a she's my father, I'm supposed to love him connection, you know what I mean? Like, she loves him because he, he's her dad, he's her dad, but in general, I don't think Dorada is the favorite person in the world is Sake. But yeah, this is all just my opinion and character that I think will die and my reason why I think they may die. This is all pure speculation. Tell me what character you think will die and how you think they'll die in the comment section down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day. As a One Piece Nation, signing out.